Hi, welcome back. So this is our fourth video under receipting. So in this video, we'll talk about how we can give a receipt or write a receipt for a person who is our member. So his or her name is under our local church register. So this is how we do it. So with this, or with such a giver or a member, we don't check anything. We don't check loose offering or congregation. We don't check an attached not yet a member. We don't mark all these boxes. We just go straight here on typing. <clears throat> so for example, the person who has brought that money is Frank. So the good part of the system is when you just begin typing, it will still give you suggestions if that person is there. So let's say the person is Kavo. The person is Kavo. If that Kavo is there, you still find them. If it is Astrida Kavaso, that's the person you want. Just click Astrida Kavaso. Then, if that person, if the church click when they were updating this person, Astrida Kavaso, if they, if they had a uh, high email address, it would have indicated here if they updated. So, if you discover this as a treasurer, you need to notify the church click to be putting email addresses because that's where members will be receiving their receipts. So, if that person have their email, if you know it, you can just enter it there so that they receive a receipt. Under category, we just do the same things. If it is tithe, we, 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 we write tithe. How much was the tithe? You put, if the tithe was 1,000, then you save item, you save receipt. So just like we learned in the, the second and the third video, how to go about local funds and tithes and offerings. So what I just wanted to teach you in this video is how to treat a person who is your member. So you just go direct here and search for their name. If their name is not found, please notify the church clerk to upload them so that we can issue them a receipt. Okay, so again, um, what else can we learn? There are a lot of things that we can learn, but for now at least you know how to do receipting. So this is the process involved in receipting. So all these types of givers we have learned, please master them and make sure you follow all the steps that we did in this video. Thank you very much. See you next time.